All right, guys. So after about, uh, well, I can't even get that to show what I wanted to, right? But maybe about I don't know, four hours of reinstalling the BIOS, combination of reinstalling the reflashing the BIOS, pressing the CMOS button ten seconds, trying to do that, disconnecting all the RGB, all the fans. Except for the CPU fan, uh, that didn't work. I took out the, the video card because I wanted to use the uh, jumper. I wanted to use the take out the the uh, button, the CMOS button to reset it that way. I unplugged all the RGB stuff. You know, and the board throughout this whole thing, it gave me first code. It gave me was D seven. Um, zero seven then it gave me zero zero then it gave me a 45 and then for like two hours or three hours i was getting zero zero codes scouring the internet keeping on trying to find out you know what's going on you know is this board dead is you know something going on the ram i, I switched the ram chips around that none of that worked and every time I would do something, I would try to flash the BIOS again, right? With the BIOS button in the back here. And I came across one little piece of information, which will, apparently it works. So, but I didn't, I didn't uh, boot up yet, put everything back and boot up to see it on the screen. But when the fan, when the computer was giving me those errors, um, the fans, these CPU fans were in high full. So, as soon as I uh, did what you know what I found online, it started out fast. After I flashed it, it took a longer time to flash it, and when I restarted it, the fans started up high as normal, and then now you can see they calm down. Now they're just really low, right? So, and the code here now is D six. So D six in the manual. And the thing about it is the manual doesn't have a zero zero code or where is that? The zero seven code I got before, right? I, I, nobody had that. A lot of people have the zero four, no, the zero two code. Then I had a 45, which is not on here. So, the pro tip, which was, it could be probably somebody's just random, you know, random luck. I used a 4 gig um, USB, right? Let me see if I can find it right Now, this 4 gig is what, verbatim, right? 4 gig verbatim, formatted FAT32, and... I've used the beta, I used the one before the beta, um, 7A I think, the beta is 85 or something. And then what I found online was somebody just said, you know, um, try a different USB stick. Because they, they formatted a couple of USB sticks, they tried one, it didn't work. And then they tried the other USB stick and it worked. So now what's funny is this one's verbatim also and it's 4 gig. So, I think that did the trick. So if you're having this issue where you can't get the um, BIOS flash to work, you need to try a different USB. And those both are four gigs. So um, I think it worked. So now I'm gonna reinstall the video card. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna reinstall the video card definitely by itself. And then I'll post up and then luckily, if I get into BIOS, um, install Windows, once I get into Windows, I'll reconnect all of the fans and everything else that's missing, but let's see what happens. Keep fingers crossed. All right, so I put the card back in, plugged them up, has full power there. I didn't screw it up or anything. I just wanna make sure that it works before I do anything. So, here goes nothing.
I am so nervous right now. I want this shit to work. Come on. Oh, yeah, 15. 15, 14, and then, okay, C8. Come on, give me that D0. Come on. D6, I'm sorry. D6, come on. Come on. Now, I hooked up the DVI port, so I'm not sure if that makes a difference. Oh, my God. Yes. Memory modules were found, not optimized. Let's see what this says here. Ryzen 5900X, 12 core DRAM frequency DR, da 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 da, DRAM da da da, USB da da da. F1 to run setup, F2 to load default values. Device change. Please enter setup to configure your system. F1 to run setup. Let's go into the setup. So, one thing I didn't mention from before is one, when I had the zero zero code or the other codes that I had besides the D6, the power button and the reset button did not work. So, the using a different USB with the non beta BIOS worked, right? The flash in took uh, probably like 10 minutes. Um, and when it was finished flashing, just like it says in the book, the light is going to turn off. The CMOS light was always on, so I thought maybe, you know, I wasn't paying attention to it before, so I didn't know if that was causing the error or not. But now I know that it was a USB uh, flash drive. You need to try different flash drives if you're having a problem. So now I'm in. What I have to do is install Windows on the one of the NVMEs, and then I can come back in and hook up all my other stuff. Whew. That took all day. The troubleshooting this took all day. I don't even understand why that was happening. I was reading some stuff about it. maybe it's the the people were saying it was the Dragon Center and all these different things. And I, I, I could see that happening because I was having this issue with the uh, gigabytes, the gigabytes um, software that I was using on the old computer. It would give me uh, random issues and I had to uninstall it. So right now I'm in here. I'm happy to be in here. I'm just going to see. Um, well, there's really nothing I want to do in here right now. I just want to install Windows. So I'm going to put my Windows 10. Uh, copy in here and uh, install it and then we'll hopefully you know have no more issues with this when I reconnect everything and um, but I don't I don't even care that that's just 21 2100 33 megahertz for RAM <laughs> I don't care CPU temps well, CPU temps are good considering this thing this thing this not too it blows a lot of air a lot of air. I turned off all these other fans. I actually think these fans are probably bottlenecking this Noctua air that's coming out of this fan here. The amount of air that was coming in when this thing was on is insane. So if you're getting that zero zero error or if you're getting any kind of issues with the flashback, try a different USB or try multiple different USBs. It worked. The USB trick worked. I don't know if it's because uh, you know, the USB, it was like, I don't know, familiar with the USB, I don't know. You know, like when you plug a device in, sometimes it gives you like, it doesn't recognize it, but it's still there and you used it before. Um, I don't know, something like that could have been happening, but yes, the USB thing works now. I'll mess around with settings and uh, let me set up this camera. All right, so I screwed back up the video card. I fixed the wires and stuff. Plug back on the RGB controller. Uh, plug back on the power to the to the hub. Um, 